Hi friends, this is Professor Prashant. Uh, today I will discuss with something new uh, in terms of physics. Now many students, many parents uh, call me and say, Ki, sir, how to study physics? How you like physics? Right? So first thing, my subject is physics. I have done my MSc in physics from Mitiwai College. Right? So I like physics. Now it is not necessary that everyone will like physics. But physics is a subject which requires you throughout your life. So when we walk, when we talk, everything, everything we are using gadgets, all these are about physics, right? So what I will suggest, there are some tricks to study physics or in less effort, how can you score more marks in physics? That is what, where I am guiding today, right? So uh, say, we'll start with the first thing, what you have to consider, which factors are there to score good marks. So physics total, it is a 80 marks board paper is almost 24, 25 marks will be numericals. Say many students don't like numericals. So, but I will suggest them is remove your from your mind that numericals are difficult. Numericals, the boards which are asking these numericals are standard numericals, not, not, not difficult one. They are standard one. Now what you have to do, you have to focus more on numericals. How you will focus? Now each and every numerical is not difficult. There are some numericals which are difficult. Now the difficult chapters from where numericals are there will be one calorimetry, right? The calorimetry numericals, that is four mark numerical will be in section two. So if you think if you are not capable of doing such numericals, then leave that part. That's it. Then what about other numericals? Other numericals they can ask based on first chapter that is force, second chapter work, third chapter machine. Then fifth chapter they can have you have a numerical based on lens. They are easiest chapter, right? Then you have a numerical based on sound. Current electricity is one of the major chapter where you can get maximum numericals there are around 72 75 numericals in that chapter then you have uh, next chapter is directly on calorimetry so i will go step by step the first thing when you do numericals so what you have to focus so you have to focus on your concise physics class 10. icsc for icst concise is your bible you should know each and every term, each and every statement of this concise, right? Now, in this case, no need to mug up, say, construction, working, all that part. You just read once, read, that's it, right? Check. For numericals, if you start with, say, force chapter, let it be force. So, in that force, there are only two to three types of numerical. Now, what is the force type? Force type means you have torque is equal to force into perpendicular distance. They can give you forces in Newton, but perpendicular distance will be in what? Centimeter. So you have to convert that centimeter into meter, right? Then what will be the unit of new, uh, this uh, moment of force or torque? It will be either Newton meter, right? If it is an SI. Now this is one type. Second type will be, they can have a meter, or, meter rule. Center of gravity is at 50 centimeter. Then find the weight of meter rule, that kind of stuff. In that type of sum, no need to convert from kgf to newton or di, uh, gf to newton. No need. Keep as it is. No need to convert in at that type. Right? Then that is the only two types where you can have a question on this uh, force. In second chapter, second chapter, if you go with the first type, first uh, A part, then you have numericals based on W is equal to Fs cos theta. But cos theta ka value, they will give hardly cos 0, cos 60, cos 45, cos 90. That's it. No other values, right? Uh, next will be work is equal to force into displacement. Based on this, you have numericals. Now here, they will give you force instead of force, they will give you mass. So force is mg. Then displacement will be in centimeter. So their conversion is very important. If the force is given in kgf, you just multiply by g, g ka value, it will be either 9.8 or 10. If it is given as 9.8 and if you are using 10, then you will get 0 marks. And if it is given as 10 and if you are using 9.8, then also you will get 0 marks. So that is one important thing, right? Displacement has to be in meter. Then work done will be in joule, right? 
Uh, next type where they can ask question will be based on power. Power is equal to work upon time. Work ka value diya rega, time will be given. Then time here has to be in second. So that will be answer will be in what? Then the next type will be what? Which kind of question will can ask? Is the suppose person A is going to uh, say 30 steps each of 15 centimeter and same other person of same mass is doing same work through lift. Who is doing more work? So in physics, displacement is same, the work done will be same. So it is in the ratio 1 is to 1. So they can ask what is the ratio of power. The power is equal to P1 upon P2 is W1 upon W2 into T2 by T1. So it is in the ratio of power, but it is inversely proportional. A person doing uh, work in less time has more power. That is one thing, right? Then the B part will be you have kind of uh, first will be potential energy U is equal to mgh that kind of questions. Second type kinetic energy K is equal to half mv square. Then square term जो करते हैं लोग भूल जाते हैं तो that will be important. Then you have K is equal to p square upon 2 m that kind of questions. You first मतलब they will give mass they will give velocity they can ask kinetic energy and momentum. So kinetic energy is half mv square. Momentum will be m into v. Moment of unit will be kilogram meter per second. Also, sometimes Newton second will be the another unit. Now, next part is the C part where you have uh, questions. There are only three numericals. That is, last three numericals are very important. I have made a separate video on these chapters. So, you can just go through that videos for numericals, right? Today, I will not discuss any kind of numerical. I will just discuss how to tackle this numerical from chapter to chapter. Then, third chapter. Ajah, today we'll discuss about first four chapters only. Then next next video we'll do the remaining part, right? In first four chapters, the third chapter will be a machine. Now machine you have numericals. Or uh, in first part it is based on the terms m is equal to load upon effort, which is equal to effort arm upon load arm. It is effort arm upon load arm. Numericals based on this. Then you have uh, efficiency is equal to m a upon v r. Then v r is equal to displacement effort upon displacement of load. Now, uh, in first part of third chapter, you have a numericals based on class of labor, class 1, class 2, class 3. For that, I just given that term. It is FLE, fulcrum beach me class 1, load beach me class 2, and effort beach me that is class 3. That is three different class of labor, right? Then, uh, you should know a given example. See, you have a scissor, right? You have a shear. So, they belong to which class? Right? That is most important when you solve numericals. So for that, what I told you, just make a chart in which there is a class 1 lever with all example, class 2 lever with all example and class 3 lever with all example. So that when you do your revision for board's point of view, you can finish this chapter within say half an hour. That is one thing. The next chapter, the same chapter about B part is a pulley. In pulley system, you have a or numericals based on m is equal to load upon effort then this is the second numerical in pulley that is most important numerical i explained it properly that is where power input they want ma they want and they want displacement of load all that kind of questions can, can ask right the next part will be ma is equal to number of strands of tackle supporting load vr is equal to total number of pulleys in both the blocks right okay then efficiency is equal to MA upon VR. That kind of questions they can ask in part B. And that's it about the pulley. Now next part is about fourth chapter. Now fourth chapter, there are only few numericals. First numerical is based on that Snell's law. That is A mu M is equal to sin I upon sin R. Right? Which is equal to VA upon VG. Which is lambda I upon lambda G. Now if they are giving a wavelength in say air is 5400 angstrom so and they want wavelength in glass so here no need to convert from angstrom to meter but sometimes they can ask find the velocity find the frequency so they have asked the word velocity and frequency then you have to convert your wavelength from angstrom to meter what is the conversion one angstrom is 10 raised to minus 10 meter that is about the important now Next, the numericals hai, you have A mu G is equal to 1 upon uh, G mu A, that is reversibility principle. Then you have refractive index of glass with respect to water, that is W mu G, is written as A mu G upon A mu W, that is absolute refractive index in terms of, uh, sorry, relative refractive index in terms of absolute, right? 
uh, the next numericals will be on real depth apparent depth real depth is uh, shift is equal to real depth minus apparent depth or uh, a mu m is equal to real depth upon apparent depth or there is one more shift is equal to uh, real depth bracket me 1 minus 1 upon a mu m so these are the numericals these are the formulas for first four chapters right now the next part of physics is uh, which terms that you have to prepare is the definitions so from first chapter you have definition like moment of force couple right you have principle of moments you have equilibrium types of equilibrium all these are definition from second chapter you have definition of work huh? then um, you have definition of power definition of energy right uh, then you have a, a chapter uh, what is mechanical energy types of mechanical energy right uh, you have law of conservation of energy these are the definitions then third chapter you have definition of load definition of effort work input work output then uh, efficiency definition you have a uh, uh, next uh, will be defined pulley right uh, types of pulley single fix single movable right all these are definitions then you have uh, in fourth chapter you have definition of a uh, statement of snell's law right you have different refractive index then you have lateral displacement which image is brightest and why all that definitions right uh, b part you have definition of no nothing definition then um, c part real depth apparent depth shift depends on what factors all that part right in a tir total internal reflection definition what is critical angle on what factor it depends uh, that is the important then this is what definition point of view then you have uh, one more part like uh, give reason type questions they can ask in physics now what are give reason type question the first chapter if you start then there are give reason type question will be why handle is placed uh, at away from the axis hinges what will happen if you increase the perpendicular distance that kind of question uh, they have like a uh, hand grow, uh, floor grinder the why it is placed handle is placed away so by increasing the distance perpendicular distance force will reduce right this is the kind of question they can ask uh, they can have a question like uh, center of gravity why uh, it is not there what will happen that kind of give reason they can ask right uh, then uh, they can have second question second chapter give reason will be basic type nothing say special then third chapter they can have a question like uh, why class 2 levers are called force multiplier always force multiplier class 3 are always called speed multiplier all that uh, that kind of question they can ask uh, next you have a fourth chapter where you can have a question ki why twinkling of star is there why uh, planets do not twinkle then uh, why uh, base of swimming pool appears uh, shorter or shallow uh, why person's legs appear uh, sh uh, shorter in standing in a pool it all these kind of questions they can ask in this part their optical fiber is based on which principle these are frequently asked question right so this is what is about the uh, give reason type questions now next part will be your diagram where you can score good marks diagram first chapter basically they can ask a question principle of moment for like diagram you have uh, in part b that drawing they can ask or uh, say uh, you have triangle lamina, triangular lamina, rectangular lamina, right? Uh, solid sphere. So that the figure they will give, find the position, locate the position. That kind of question they can ask. Second chapter, uh, the first numerical uh, no diagram will be based on that uh, total energy against height all apart. Uh, then you have a like a pendulum, oscillating pendulum. That diagram, total energy is conserved. That diagram is important, right? Uh, in um, third chapter you have different types of lever class one class two class three the diagrams will be there then uh, pulley that's most important part pulley single fixed single movable then single fixed with a single movable pulley then you have a system of pulley two raised to n wala right then you, the one fixed and other movable then you have block and tackle system where velocity ratio is four velocity ratio is five and velocity ratio equal to three these are the important diagram in fourth chapter, uh, block diagram, uh, sorry, uh, prism diagram is important. Then 
uh, lateral displacement diagram that is the most important diagram frequently asked question in your school as well as in boards right where a uh, lateral displacement diagram uh, your emergent ray and the path of incident ray the dotted line should be parallel and you should mention a perpendicular distance between them is called lateral displacement there 90 degree markings are not given in textbook so that is important part then second part of this fourth chapter will be a prism so they can ask a question this is not asked in any exam but they can ask a question to draw a diagram for prism in for a case of minimum deviation so whatever a diagram given is the same for minimum deviation where i equal to e but this type of question the same question they can ask in different way that is what is the important right or uh, next part will be about the diagram is real depth apparent depth then there is a bending of stick then draw a diagram where object is seen from a denser medium appears taller in rarer medium that diagram then in tir the first diagram of uh, that incident ray normal bending towards then critical angle and that tir wala that diagram is also important then turn light by 90 degree 180 degree right erecting prism where it is app application of each right the diagram then they can have a question like complete the following diagram that kind of question they can ask uh, next diagram will be what is a uh, about um, uh, say uh, they will give in 90 30 uh, 30 60 90 prism complete the following diagram so there are three to four diagrams they are there just practice that diagram now say it is not possible for me to every time i will take a uh, lecture so if you have doubts you can ask me uh, personally because you are most of you are my students uh, but if you are say new to this part say you can view uh, you can visit my channel youtube that is professor prashant manjrekar high stack physics now here i will put some important tips so this is uh, suppose i want to revise force see you can take my video just go through that video say i am not saying i am covering 100% which is not practically possible if i make a video of say 1 hour 1 hour 30 minutes no one will going to watch that part so i will make a small small videos in which whatever important tips i am have to give i have to deliver that i am giving now if you find this part um, uh, say interesting just uh, like this video and just subscribe my channel so that uh, if you are subscribers and more then i will make a more videos right uh, thank you